I know that some of you guys will like to do trains on the road as well as on the actual track because some places in the world uh, do actually do this. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how this works. So the first thing you want to do is go over to Steam and download the Build with Collision mod by Vacuum Tube. And once you've got that installed, load it up in your map by pressing on free game, setting it up as normal and then pressing on advanced. So you press on search then and then you're going to search collision and then make sure this little enabled tick is green and when that's ready press load game simply enough what you got to do is you got to go to your terrain tool you got to go to your flatten tool make the brush size as big as you like but the thing is you have to do this this is very important so i'm just gonna for the sake of the video make this like a little mountain just to like highlight where the area is and i'm gonna just flatten all this out and it does take a while sometimes to do this with this game and there are mods to make it quicker um, so you might want to have a look at that, but I'm not too bothered just using the slow method with the default tools. So there we go, you can see that I've put down this little hill sort of thing and this is perfectly flat. You can now go to, I'm going to go with uh, rail first, but you can do either first, it's up to you. Um, I just prefer doing rail because, uh, I, I, I'll show you why in a minute, but there, uh, there is a little thing you got to do because rail and road are slightly different heights, um, but it's a simple fix. Just a bit of tweaking around. So I'm going to go with the rail first. I'm going to just do the normal thing we do to click and hold to make a track. Now, if you've done this right, like you've set the landscape up to be completely flat, you won't have to click this. But in case you haven't, I would just click it anyway. Uh, and by the way, this doesn't seem to work. I could be wrong. It doesn't seem to work if you press fix slope on a on a non-flat terrain. It seems to just do like weird texture stuff. Not sure if that's just my end or not, but that's what I got from uh, from doing that. So when you've done that, you can press build. And now there's two things you can do here. You could just do number one, which is the default length away, which is like that. But you see the issue with that is trams generally aren't that far away from each other. If you're doing trains, that's not a problem. But you can also go ahead and do the tram stuff like you can see here. Now the issue with this is you have to play around with it quite a bit to get the sleepers to match up. But you can see here this is working pretty, pretty well. And of course, you have to go a little bit further back because you can't really go from here because usually this will snap you onto that, which is too far away. So if you just take it a little bit further back than normal, just not too far though, and then bring this track. There you go, I've got it now. You just bring this track all the way down to the end and that will reduce the, the gap between the tracks just like that. So if we go on here then and we're going to press build and there you go they're a lot further together now but now we've got this stuff down let's go ahead and build our road i've got a variety of roads i can choose from i'm just going to go with this one because it uh, fits the the size of the track now what you got to do is for the road because you might see if i go over here let's just show you if i go from like here i'm going to bring it out to that and just press flatten and by the way if, if it says construction not possible you can just hold down shift and that will uh that will show you what's uh, what it's like colliding with. You can see here the track is actually slightly above the road. So all you got to do to fix this is simply go over to the terrain tool, go to raise tool, and then make the brush quite small. Bring it up a little bit, and then go back to road. Now this is a bit bit of a tinkering tinkering around here, but once you get it, it's really worth it. But you just got to hit the sweet spot with it. So there you go, as you can see, I've just got the road perfect. And all we've got to do for this, you can do it here if you like, but I always bring it down right to the end, because when you get to the end, that makes things a lot easier in my experience with this. And then all you've got to do, obviously, is just press build anyway, and this will make your track absolutely perfect. Although one thing I've had a little issue with, if you don't get it perfect, right, like actually perfect, if there's a tiny like pixel, of a wooden railway sleeper peeking through then it will the whole thing will just be like really strange because the textures i'm not quite sure how it renders them but if you go so at the bottom of the screen i think it does something different for texturing or like further away it does something so if you go here and look at the track sometimes further away or really close to the camera you'll see sleepers uh, and then the vice versa effect will happen uh, and to fix this literally just go slightly deeper uh, into the ground with the tracks. It's very simple to fix that. Uh, but let's go ahead here. I'm going to just bring this terrain a little bit further this way. And I'm going to put this just down like that. So one thing to note here, you can use train station with two platforms, but you will have this massive gap between. So what I like to do is I'll get one train station and I'll make it the shortest length, of course. I'll try and line it up best I can, place it down. And then I'll get another train station and I'll do the opposite effect on this side. 
but this is quite hard to to do because you have, that means you have to match up the uh, the length between the track a lot of the time but i think i've done a relatively good job there so we'll get our track here and we'll plug it into there easy stuff and then this track into there of course and there we go that's how it's looking very nice now another thing i like to do if you're doing trams that is is to go ahead and just delete all this stuff on the platform in fact usually i just delete one side of the platform anyway to so make the station 40 meters because that's a really long station for a tram uh, and i also usually have a mod which gets rid of everything on the platform it's just the uh, the platform which i'll also have in the description for you and then if you want to use an entrance to the station, because there isn't one because we just deleted it because they're massive. If you want to use one of those, I usually just go to MISC and then press side entrance. And that basically just puts stairs on it like that. Although I am, I'm pretty sure there's some mods out there that, that lets you put some on the side as well. Um, but uh, that's what I like to do anyway, because they're, they're kind of small and hidden. You won't really notice them. So yeah, that's why I use them. They're pretty nice. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side, and then I'll show you what you can do with it. I'll just show this off as well. If you go to roads, and now this is kind of an important thing. If you want to hook a road onto this road, you're going to have problems. It says construction not possible. Now the way to fix this is simply hold shift. For some reason or another, if you do this and then hold shift and wait too long, it attaches itself to the mouse, uh, so you can't actually click it. But if you do it and then be quick, so you just hook it up and then when you're ready, shift click, there you go, you're straight in and it registers it. And then this road is now usable by the vehicles, which I'm going to just show you right now. Okay, so now you can see these vehicles are coming out and they are using the road perfectly fine with no problems. Although one thing I've noticed is if you do put like truck stops and stuff, it is going to affect the uh, the actual look of the of the track there. So just be careful with that one. But you can see they do work perfectly fine. And of course, you can always just go to streets, get a wider street, uh, and just plop that on there, and that will actually fix your issues. So there's plenty of stuff you can do with that. Uh, but let's do what you've been waiting for. Let's put some trams and cars on the same road here. Now, if you have to remember, if you set your own catenary up. The electric trams will not work. You have to have the game's in-game catenary set up for those guys to work. But you can use diesels and steam without the catenary setting your own up. It'll just look a little bit weird and you'll probably have to use the default length between the tracks if you want to get catenary that doesn't look awful. Which I can show you because I actually have that one set up over here. So I'll just quickly show you that. Uh, so you can see here that the, uh, the tracks are quite far apart from each other. Um, but at least the electric trains work. So if that's your thing, that's what you're going to have to do, unfortunately. But we don't have that problem because I'm doing diesel and steam. Let's pop these guys onto the tracks. It'll take a second to process, but there we go. You're coming out, Mr. Diesel Unit. And then we've got a big boy waiting in there. Okay, so the last thing we need to do to finish this off is go to signals. And it's not completely important you do this, but I would if I were you, because trams do this in real life. And you can also get a mod, which I'll put in the description, which gives you the tram signals, but I'm just going to use the game's default signals. And you're going to go from this station, and you see that the train is going to be going on this side of the track. So we're going to put one signal there, and then on the way back, we're going to be putting a signal right, uh, right there. There we go. And then now the trains can go and leave the station, and another, another tram or train can roll in. And that's basically the system real life has too. And you can also see now that despite the trains going down the wrong uh, way down the track, the tr they do go <laughs> down the road, uh, although that may cause some problems. There is actually a mod you can flip the road traffic, which side they drive on if you like. Um, but you can see here, I've set it up just quickly and they're going to crash. <laughs> that's about it really. That's all there is to this mod. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, it would really help me if you could press the subscribe button. And why not take it a step further and check out my Patreon? There's even a few perks from doing that. I also have a Transport Fever series, my Brutal Mode series, which is very, very interesting. I'm currently having a war with some gangs and setting a military base up, which should be interesting. So if that's your thing, go check it out. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.